Welcome back. I'm Wyatt Goolsby in for Lauren Ashburn. This week's marked three years since ISIS attacked the small religious minority group, the Yazidis, in northern Iraq. Human rights activists are still working for justice following ISIS war crimes and crimes against humanity. To talk more about the plight of Yazidis in the region, we welcome in Pari Ibrahim. She's a lawyer and the executive director of the Free Yazidi Foundation, based in the Netherlands and operates in the region of Kurdistan. So Pari, you were born in Iraq. You moved to the Netherlands with your family when you were three years old and you started the foundation in 2014. Tell me about what the foundation has done in just the three years to help the Yazidis. Well, we initially started to uh, do advocacy work to get recognition of genocide because until now there's a genocide ongoing. We set up a children's center and women's center to help victims of ISIS sexual slavery and ch child soldiers to recover from the trauma. Uh, and the trauma in the community is immense. Uh, we try to help uh, ISIS perpetrators accountable for the crimes that they committed against the Yazidis. How many Yazidis have been persecuted? How many died? Do you have any numbers? We have numbers of uh, more than 500,000 Yazidis were living in Sinjar. This is the area where they were attacked. Uh, now, 400, more than 400,000 are um, IDPs in Kurdistan, North Iraq. And uh, we are now until, we have now more than 3,000 uh, women and girls still in captivity. Uh, that's our, that, those are the numbers that we have uh, currently. Sure, and you've been working with the government of Iraq and international groups as well to call attention to the genocide, specifically against the Yazidis. Tell me what your foundation is doing to get the ISIS operatives who have been captured held accountable and brought to trial. So we started initially to uh, go for the ICC, the International Criminal Court. We submitted a report uh, to the prosecutor. Uh, until now, we did only receive that they received the submission. Uh, we wanted them to start a preliminary investigation against the ISIS perpetrators who are um, uh, foreign fighters and members of the uh, Rome Statute uh, of member states. And until now, uh, just the reaction that they received it, but nothing happened. So now we are trying to get indictments in uh, countries, for, the, for example, Netherlands, um, Germany, uh, America, all these countries, also in Europe, uh, indictment for the crimes that they committed. If, instead of only terrorism, right. which is happening right now. Now we're three years further and still no indictment for the crimes that they committed against the Yazidis or other religious minorities. It sounds so tough. How long of a process do you think that will take to really get a lot of them held accountable? It will take uh, a very long time, what we've seen in uh, other genocidal attacks against other uh, populations. But I think the Free Yazidi Foundation is making good steps towards uh, justice. And uh, we might have cases in the coming months we already know even that some girls in Germany have seen their perpetrators as refugees. And those were ISIS fighters who were raping and killing Yazidi people. Well, we wish you and your foundation the best of luck in all the work that you do. Pari Ibrahim, Executive Director of the Free Yazidi Foundation. Thanks Thank so much. Thank you very much.